Good day. Hello there. I'm Ozzy Robbo. I'm English Jen. And welcome back to another episode of What Has Darren Been Buying? 50th anniversary edition, baby. <laughs> so Darren, what have you bought? So we've got, no, we didn't get to go to Walt Disney World again for the third time last year. And it was very important 50th anniversary. Um, so it was a bit tricky to get things over here at first when it first released. However, Disney Store in the UK started stocking some items quite early and I was quite surprised. Some of them I'd already ordered off very expensive websites so I had a little bit of uh, regret there. Um, and a couple of them were actually sent over by a good friend of ours who lives in Orlando. But yeah, so let's start with what we've got. So what we've got. Of course, you haven't seen these for a long time. I haven't been talking about them for a while because they've been pretty poor with the releases. But we've got a whole range of new emos costumes just especially for the 50th i bought two of this one because these are specifically for chip and dale i thought they look really cool they've got like the cool they've got the cast member style shirts on which are celebrating the 50th they're in the iridescent colors um and there's also uh, the mickey ears which like sort of a bit like classic ears but like updated for the iridescent sort of um theming um, so we've got those two for uh, Chippendale. For the ladies and some of the men, maybe, uh, we've also got, um, I believe this is kind of just a, again, the cast member, yeah, it's just the cast member pattern uh, for their shirts and a updated version of mini ears with a bow. And these, are, I actually really like these. These are sort of like jogging sets, uh, kind of like more leisure wear. Um, a little bit retro with the images so you've got um the front of the contemporary in the lake and uh classic uh, sort of image with a white background with mickey and the walt disney world uh, logo um, and actually now with this particular yellow one you can actually buy this for um, adults so who knows maybe i'll be investing in some new loungewear in bright yellow so that's new emos it wouldn't be a disney hall without some what some mugs um, so this one uh, I ended up getting from a Disney store when they went on sale so this is the so this is just the the mug which has the whole of Disney World represented all the icons um, all the gang are there Chippendale done really nicely in the bottom there um, yeah it's really beautifully done some rides represented and again it's got this kind of iridescent sort of uh, finish to it um, I don't use it though because I feel like it's gonna chip away or something and then there was a whole series, in fact there were a number of series, of Starbucks exclusives. Um, but there's one that stuck out for me which was uh, this Magic Kingdom one which is styled in the kind of classic 70s sort of uh, finish. Uh, so it's got accents of gold and it's kind of, what, what colour would you call that, sort of like peach rose kind yeah. of, rosy pink. Um, but there's actually lots of images you can find on uh, the internet, like Pinterest especially, where it has this very similar style where they used to use it on bags. I wish they'd bring that kind of vibe back on bags because it's just really beautifully sort of detailed. It's even got Tron on there if that ever gets finished. Um, but yeah, it's got like everything re representing Magic Kingdom. Um, I didn't need any more, just wanted one tall mug with Magic Kingdom on. Of course, it wouldn't be a haul without pins. And for the 50th, they've really gone OTT. We've got a series of pins here, which is basically all the gang, um, which are really beautifully done, sort of centered around the actual 50, iridescent 50. So you've got Pluto and Goofy, you've got Chip and Dale, and you've got um, Donald and Daisy, and finally Mickey and Minnie. Um, these are really lovely, and I got these from, uh, I think it was Double Box Toys at the time. Spent way too much on them that I really wanted to be, and then they got released a week later. <laughs> DisneyStore.uk. Okay. Uh, one that you couldn't get over here though, which I'm really glad I did buy, and I actually got this for quite a good uh, price from a US seller, was um, a limited edition 50th. And it's literally just the um, castle in the 50. There was another version, which I think might have been a pass holder exclusive, which was Walt and the partners um, statue, which I was going to get. But then when I took a close look, I didn't like the sculpt on Walt looked like a sort of plasticine mushy face. So I was like, no, let's go for the castle. But I just thought it was really pretty. And the, the, all, all of these ones catch the light really nicely with the iridescent sort of finish. It's not OTT. Disney have started doing um, sets. So you, the, this is really nice that you can get like a set with a badge 
and a patch. Um, I think it's an iron ball, yeah, iron on patch. Um, so this is the classic Mickey Mouse Club sort of style, but for Walt Disney World um, sort of take on it. And then the classic Mickey ears. I mean, you could actually buy um, the retro ears, like a reproduction of the retro ears. Um, might get some of those. We'll see what they're like in flesh. And then we've got a whole array of what they call the Vault Collection. Um, so we've got Florida represented with a little hanging Walt Disney World and Mickey on it. That's quite nice. Uh, there's the autograph book, which has just one autograph, which is Tinkerbell inside. And uh, that's a sort of flip open uh, with a magnet. They're really nice. This one's a really random one. There's, a, there's quite a few which are quite random and uh, not things you normally see in pin form. This one is a number plate. So what would be a Walt Disney number plate? Um, quite like the design on it though. It's just quite small though, considering. Uh, there's the Walt Disney World book with Mickey Mouse in the classic design and then the castle inside. Again, magnet closure. That's actually quite large. This one was really cute. We've already got from the uh, from the Disney's um, own club collector set, you get uh, the tin, the classic metal tin lunchbox, and they've reproduced it in a uh, pin form. And you can actually get the flask as well, but I haven't managed to get, get hold of that as yet. And again, it's another one with a magnet, flips open, and it's got all your Mickey Mouse themed goodies in there. And then another one that we had shipped in uh, from a good friend is the contemporary we've never stayed at the contemporary but we haven't, in fact we haven't even eaten there yet that may change in the future um but yeah the contemporary because it's one of the opening resorts this is one of the limited edition pins they did there there's also one for the polynesian as well i believe um so i might be trying to look for that one is it wilderness i think wilderness lodge as well because that was one of the opening ones i think as well um so try and grab those uh, but yeah it's again another little hanger but the pins don't stop they did a whole series of kind of park icons, so all the characters which you know and love, uh, from right, where it be rides, well, I think it does all right, yeah, it's all rides, all attractions. Um, they, these are blind boxed and there were two per pack, priced at, in the UK, £10, because these are off um, Disney Store um, on the website. So I'm just going to open these right now. First up, we've got. Oh, it's, uh, I want to say, this is, I know it's from the Muppets 3D, but I can't remember his name. Kind of cute. Ah, a new addition to Disney World, which we haven't been on in Disney World, but we have been on in Paris, is Remy from Ratatouille. Looking for Orange Bird. Aha. We've got Figment, who is very much um, represented at the moment because it's currently the Festival of the Arts. And finally, Orange Bird. So I've pretty much got the ones I actually wanted. Um, keep an eye out maybe for the Haunted Mansion, Country Bear Jamboree maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's really nice. But I don't think it's too bad a price considering pins are normally quite pricey anyway. Uh, that's what works out, six quid per pin. Um, but people are selling them on eBay as well. So if you do get like doubles, it's quite easy to get rid of yours and buy a, new, a different one instead. And then keeping with the vault theme, so the vault has this kind of different look to it, like paper, old fashioned paper with just a simple print on. This is one of the original maps, and I'm going to open it now. So this is a reproduction of the original map in Magic Kingdom. Um, quite pricey for what it actually is. <laughs> yeah. Don't even tell me the price. Eight dollars. Um, Eight dollars for what is essentially a glossy piece of paper and a reprint I mean it's a nice reprint I think they probably could have done like a better weathered version maybe like a do the paper to match the print eight dollars for essentially something that they normally give out free exactly parks anyway. um, but these sold out really really quickly and on a regular basis um, I don't even know if you can still buy them but um, I'm glad I got one of those because they were going for stupid money on eBay and no I, I just wanted it to keep it was just really pretty and um, you can actually buy a spirit jersey, I think, with pretty much that whole design right now. Finally, we've got the big one. Um, so this is something you don't have to be in the parks to buy, and it is the Walt Disney World um, 50th, uh, 50 Years of the Most Magical Place on Earth. And essentially, it's just a hardback coffee table book, which is the full history um, going to detail, whether it be Imagineering, um, 
advertising, uh, everything you could want. And it's really beautiful. I've had a flick through. I've had I've read like a couple of chapters of it, um, and there is quite a lot in there that I didn't know of before. It's not just what's been before, but it's also what's coming up. So there's the Star Cruiser represented in there, Star Wars Star Cruiser, and Tron as well. Uh, Rash Two, I think, is mentioned as well, but that's now opened. But yeah, it's a really beautiful book, and it was—I think it was about twenty quid for that book. Um, right. But yeah, really nicely put together. Um, I'm not that struck on the artwork on the front, but yeah, the um, the overall book is actually quite a hefty bunch of pages. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the haul. That is the haul we've got. We I did order some clothing, but the two items that came through were sort of hooded tops, I believe, a bit like what you're wearing now. But when we got them, um, they were really cheap and nasty. I ended up sending one back and getting a refund. And another one I ended up selling on eBay and getting my money back that way. Um, yeah, I, I, was, I was kind of hoping the next time we're at the parks that they update the materials on the sort of uh, the 50th. Because at the moment I'm not very impressed with it. And it would be nice to have some stuff to wear as, to represent the 50th. So Darren, what happened? Uh, kind of forgot the whole haul. So we've actually had these as well. We've run a while. Um, so this is the uh, continuing range of Funko Disney Parks um, collectibles. And it's the um, the attractions, but also the castle. And so we've got, in this situation, I only picked my favorites. Um, we've got a rising collection forming with the Disneyland 65th last year. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, the iridescent 50th logo on it. We've got the gold. Um, the box is actually quite big for the um, Cinderella's Castle from Walt Disney World. And this one's uh, Space Mountain. But it says, it doesn't say, it says uh, Mickey Mouse at the Space Mountain attraction. To me, he's riding it, but <laughs> anyway, let's get him open. So first up, we've got Space Mountain. This isn't one where you get the, the building, um, which would be quite nice if they did the Space Mountain with it. Um, but you've got Mickey in his uh, classic space helmet. It's very retro, very um, tomorrow, Tomorrowland um, and Epcot sort of vibe. And yeah, I really love it. It's really nice. It's very, it's quite expensive considering the size of it. This was just under 30 pounds. Wow. Yeah, which really should be, to me, it's only a little bit bigger than a normal pop. But it is really nicely done. It's got all the details. It's even got the crossbars. Um, doesn't come with the uh, rattling pain that gives you a headache on this ride, which always, I don't like it. <laughs> Rob prefers it to me. And then secondly, this is what I really, really wanted, is Cinderella's Castle. So Cinderella's Castle, um, originally when they announced it, it looked basically the same as the Disneyland's 65th anniversary, which is this one here. But when you put them side to side, you can see a difference in size. There's loads of similarities, especially the outer bits, um, which is a repaint. Um, but actually, it is like a little bit bigger. They've gone for the paintwork. Shame they didn't put the 50 because I'd like to see them do um, the, the old version, the original version that they had with the grey paint. But yeah, that's nice. Because um, I've got Walt from that set from the 65th. And He's, he's one of my favorite sort of pops now. Um, so I've got that one. And he comes with Mickey Mouse. And he's in his um, 50th anniversary iridescent sort of vibe. There is a special edition of it where it comes with a gold Mickey Mouse, but I wasn't fussed about a gold Mickey Mouse. Um, yeah, it's a really nice set and I'm glad I got it. Uh, they did sell out rather quickly as well. Uh, but I think there are some now starting to come into shops, um, but I think the gold one is definitely gone and it's getting high price on eBay, but yeah, so that's going to be added to the collection because I'm only really collecting Disney Park stuff now, so. Um, but yeah, did you buy anything, Rob? No. <laughs> no, it's always me. Um, but yeah, so that's basically our haul for the 50th. And we hope to have you join us on social media. Um, I'll leave the links down below. Uh, but thank you for joining us. Thanks for watching. <laughs> He says, he's just all you can do, he's a voyeur, um, watching horror. Uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.